Uh, that's just uh, milk, which I made out of milk powder, it's a little bit of pepper, and now I'm adding a pinch of nutmeg. It was the calm before the storm. Here in the Sea of Cortez, tiendas and small grocery stores don't always have very much food to choose from during the summer months. I added just a little fresh parsley to it, and a little bit of pepper, and olive oil. And... However, you can almost always find some queso fresco, fresh cheese, tomato puree, and small packets of pasta. We were craving some nice pasta al forno. We baked with our solar oven under the clear skies without a drop of wind. But we also knew something nasty was coming up. Weather models consistently showed stronger and stronger winds heading up the Sea of Cortez. We weren't exactly expecting a full-on hurricane, but it was worth preparing for. We were the only sailboat still anchored out. I don't know, I guess we looked kind of vulnerable out there. Our generous friend Robert on SV Shaman invited us to the marina on the south end of the harbor and paid for our slip for several days. It was now time to remove the sails and other items that could be blown away or add windage. We don't have a dodger or a bimini, but we definitely would have removed those things if we did have them. We made a spider web of dock lines, making sure to attach some of them to the nearest pilings. We returned the help of our friend Robert and helped him remove his huge Genoa. Even the town made some preparations for the storm by completely removing the iconic Main Street sign. Malacon sign that is seen in all the towns was murdered. Crime scene, it was stolen. As we made our way to the grocery store to pick up the last food that we would be able to buy for quite some time, the roads were beginning to flood. While us liveaboards prepared for the weather, other boats in the harbour didn't have their owners around to tie them down quite so snug. As the wind and the wave began to pick up in the harbour, Robbie and Robert made the rounds to tie down other boats. And I had this growing feeling in my stomach that something horrible was going to happen. But we kept vigilant and kept on making the rounds. Despite all the bad weather, we still had time to go for a swim in the marina pool. And Robbie cooked up his favorite, carbonara. There were three pleasure craft, other than our own boats, that needed constant attention throughout the storm. 
This big power boat needed to be tied to the harbor wall to take pressure off of the small dock. And we made sure to continue adjusting our own lines as well. Conveniently, in the middle of the night, cleats started popping off the dock and off other boats. Robbie jumped aboard the problematic catamaran that was trying to get away. He threw out lines for Robert and the local Navy guys to tie to pilings just before she could take off into the night. crazy out there right now. A neighbor spilled almost end up in a dock and I take a mash and make sure it didn't go anywhere and someone else catamaran as well who's feet tripped off his boat and this it's is gonna be a rough ride. It's gonna be a rough ride, yeah. It's a little bit of a jerk in here. It's a little jerky. With wind speeds reaching about 65 miles per hour or 100 kilometers an hour, we felt very lucky to have not experienced worse weather. This one broke. This was tied over on the post. Flooding was worse south of here, on the southern tip of Baja. Folks in this town seemed cheerful enough as they cleaned up the mud and rocks from the city center. And thankfully no one was hurt here in Santa Rosalia. Thanks for everything, man. Yeah, have a good trip as well. My good pleasure, man. good team effort. No Woo! <laughs> Adios, Alma! Although this little town had grown on us, we didn't want to stick around for any more possible additional tropical storms. We filled up on fresh water and propane, said goodbye to Robert and Alma, and headed off into the afternoon breeze. How was your stay in Santa Rosalia? Well, we got a pretty much a small hurricane, so we were tied up to the docks and the boat was violently jerking from side to side, but at least we broke nothing, we damaged nothing, we didn't shave a single line. The whole harbor right now smells of sewer. It's been, the hurricane was what, two, three days ago finished, and there's still the sewer backing up. Oh yeah, harbor. I saw the guys pumping at the sewer today. Oh. By the gym. And we're leaving, we have the lines in the water. Yeah, first thing, this is how it works. Nothing else gets done until the lines are in the water. Yep. We have to head to San Felipe right now. Yep. That's our best bet for finding easy passage into the US. And we are basically doing a visa run. Yep. <laughs> we're we're going to get some stuff for the boat as well. What are we doing? Five. Huh. No, four four and a half. I think the gas is 4.2. 
There's plenty of wind, so I don't know what's up. I think it's kind of because you look at the sweat, it's quite choppy. Yeah. Please subscribe if you want to see upcoming videos. Press the little bell to be alerted right away when another video goes up. Visit the links below to become a patron or simply leave a tip through PayPal.